is Em and Mike. With Em and the gang. And this is our camper, Hazel. We are in Wake Forest, North Carolina. And welcome to the vlog. Good afternoon from Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta, Canada. Good job. And I am proof that you can get a sunburn in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I am burnt to a crisp after yesterday. This is Mark. He is a good friend and business partner of ours, and we've been here the last two days at his family's house in Alberta. And uh, how long have we known each other now? Like seven years? About seven years, yeah. Yeah, yeah so a long time. And it has been wonderful to just hang out with you guys and visit instead of it always being like rushed and at business stuff. And so we've had a wonderful time and yeah. thank you so much. Thanks for coming. And uh, first of all, I'm really impressed you got the name right. <laughs> that's <laughs> not everyone does that. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> awesome. North Saskatchewan? There it is. It's a, oh, it's a, it's a mouthful. Well, that's because we're people we're of the North. There you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> You're our, you're our type of tribe, so yeah. um, it's nice that you've been able to visit and get to know you. And yeah, I, I love your lifestyle and uh, I love having friendships with people from all over the world. So oh. it's really neat and I'm the blessed one. So thank you. Yeah, yeah it's mutual. Yeah. So, well, thanks for having us and it was a perfect parking spot. Plenty of room in their driveway and now it's time to get back on the road. So we're gonna start heading north and a little bit west towards Grand Prairie and Dawson Creek, which is the beginning of the Alaska Highway. guys so gas is still definitely more expensive in Canada that fill up was roughly 59 gallons and uh, did the math based off like what we last paid in the States and it was uh, about $60 more to fill up this tank but bear in mind we put about 59 gallons in
was to our destination for this evening when we left uh, Mark and Linda's this morning. We wanted to shoot for um, Grand Prairie, Alberta. And we've made great time. We're just about there. I uh, thought that we would share a few things about traveling through Canada with you guys. This is really actually a great country to travel through. We've always enjoyed it. Um, the friendly people and the beautiful scenery notwithstanding it's a it's also just convenient to travel through here uh, there's lots of rest stops and I can't speak to whether or not it's okay to stay in them when you're in urban areas but when you get farther north into the more rural parts of Canada uh, people pull off in them for the night they have usually uh, some amenities, like at least, at the very least, they have uh, trash cans that are bear proof. And some of them have bathrooms and things like that. So handy little places. The roads in general are very well cared for. Big, wide, two-lane roads when you're down here in the more populated areas. And all throughout Canada, we've noticed that they have these really wide expanses on the side of each of the highway highways um, where you can see if there's wildlife coming up on you. So it's a handy little thing, especially up here. <clears throat> Not surprisingly, they do have Walmarts in this country, and I checked to see if we could use the All Stays app. Uh, people have actually posted for Canada in the All Stays app, and we've referenced it a couple of times already. There's a Walmart in Grand Prairie that we're shooting for, and it does allow overnight parking. So that's a handy little feature. Especially, it kind of depends on your approach to Canada. If you're kind of meandering your way up and taking your time, then RV parks are great, and you can really settle in for a couple nights. If you're kind of doing a bonsai drive like we tend to do, it's nice to have places that you don't end up paying money for just to sleep for a few hours. So we really like staying in the Walmart parking lots. We do a lot of the pool outs. Uh, we, we always do really enjoy staying at Liard Hot Springs. There are tons of them. Campgrounds and RV parks available. Uh, really nice ones, well cared for, well kept, that you can enjoy. And uh, so there's lots of options. Okay guys, we've made it to Grand Prairie, Alberta, Canada. That uh, main lot back there was awfully crowded and you know, we're long, so we can't like just go doubled up on uh, parking spots. We kind of need to take a full length, which you know, it sucks, but it is what it is. So we opted to uh, go over by the Tire and Lube Center. There was uh, plenty of room over here. And this little spot is actually perfectly level. All right, thanks for riding with us today. And tomorrow, we're gonna hit the Alaska Highway. So we'll see you then.